Hello, welcome to the rare regular season NBA halftime show. We were gonna call it a Super Bowl, but I don't think it has like a real super vibe right now. My name is Chris Ryan. This is Shay Serrano, Micah Peters, Juliet Littman, Danny Chow. We are here to talk about the Thunder and the Warriors, their first regular season game. We're also here to take some of your questions, if you have any, at Ringer on Twitter. We'll get those from Carl. Right now, I just want to start. We were going to talk about Russ. We were going to talk about Russ because we're all Russ heads. But Danny, we got to talk about Durant a little bit first. What's that line? 18 points, 11, 11 for 16 shooting? So he's 11 for 17 for in the half. He has 29 points. You were way already. off. 29. So it was like 19 <laughs> plus 10. Yeah. Yeah. That's insane. So, <laughs> so many points. So he's, he's missed six shots. The rest of the team is shooting below 40%. This is basically his team. It's basically the Thunder with a much better potential supporting cast. And all he needed was to get yammed on by Jeremy Grant. <laughs> Trust the process. <laughs> Trust uh, all he needed was to get yammed on by a guy who has only been on the team for three days. Look, it didn't stop Ursan Yulisova <laughs> from being good for the Sixers. Micah, that was a pretty insane dunk from Grant. And it seemed like that really woke up. Uh, it was an insane dunk for Grant that woke up Durant. On the other end, he puts in an N1 and, one and, and then... shouts some expletives. At, at Jeremy Grant then hides behind David West. Exactly. I don't want to repeat them because, you know, like it would get me in trouble. But my mom would probably, well, your my mom's friend, on Periscope? I don't know. She might be, you know. <laughs> my friends would definitely bat me up, though. But <laughs> I think the best thing is just the fact that he seems so content with, like, his choice to go to Golden State. In the in the early going, we're he reading just, a lot into a. a an he seems layout. he seems very fulfilled. Well, so here's the thing: is that we we came into this game, Shay, and we were like, Russ, he's wearing a traffic cop outfit from Madrid, or like, well, no, it's a photographer. It was a photographer's photographer. outfit. It was a photographer. It was a photographer. Right. photo that he saw at a fashion shoot in Madrid, and he was like, I want to wear that. I like, and it's just no, just it wasn't a no, no, fashion no, 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 that's not game. the way. It was, the no, okay, so this is game. like this is what. So he walks in wearing, it and they ask him about it before the game starts, and he says, like, you know, deflecting. He's just like, oh, you know, I was in Madrid, and I saw somebody walking around with one of these on, and I thought it was a great fashion idea. It, there's, it, there's, there's nothing to it. Right. He said and, it was for a future line, for right. his for his future plans. And I mean, like, but. The big the, the hook there is that Kevin Durant actually is an amateur photographer. He exactly. made like a big deal about that being and a professional for the Players Tribune. That's yeah. right. That's right. So he's also a, a published author for yes. the Players Tribune too. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yes. Um, Shay, what did you think of Russ's pregame outfit? Big fan. I hope that he has a different like worker uniform for any outcome of the game. Like if they lose by five points, he's dressed like an usher from the stadium, <laughs> or if they win by 17 points, he's got on a police officer's outfit. I do, do we do we all get a lot of post-game Russ, like, fashion photography? Because, like, for all I know, he just walks out looking like John Krasinski after a game. Like, it's all back to, like, just nah, like... he goes yeah. straight back into the original outfit. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> he does! <laughs> he does. <laughs> yes. There's no post-game. There's yeah, no take, No, he goes right back into Full it. Commitment. Yeah, you gotta, you know, take as much advantage of that one outfit as you can. He can't repeat that smock tomorrow. That's true. He's gotta wait at you least until... You can't wear until a photographer it. outfit to I mean, that's Target. The... <laughs> and then you just walk in. I mean, I mean, Russ, if like Russ logo. wanted to, he would. What did you think? So, the thing is, is that if you had to categorize or classify Russ's performance, what would you wear? Like, if you were like, right now, the game's over at halftime. We only play one half. What are you going to wear? That's a perfect outfit of an amateur photographer. An amateur outfit. photographer. Because he's basically <laughs> taking pictures of a winning team. Like, when he was walking in, he had the earbuds in. Mm -hmm. He did a little bit of a, a dance. We were speculating about this. What song do you think? Now, I know you have, like, a real, actually, you did the research. You, you hit the books. Okay, so, based upon the cadence... Yeah. Okay. I did some pull pull that word. Okay, so based on the cadence and like, like Kevin the rhythm Durant, of you it. Were a published author. I expect yeah. you to do your research. <laughs> no. Okay, so I thought that it could either be All My Chains by Lil Uzi from Love Is Rage. I right. particularly like that one because it has a line in there that is pimping well, like Lilo and know Stitch. That he's yeah. the soundtrack to Russ's Nike commercial. There you go. It could also be Froze off of Dream Chasers Four. Which is Meek Mill featuring again Lil Uzi and Which Nicki Minaj. Kind of like a fast, like I learned all the words because that just came out. Yeah, and I, I personally he need, seems like the type though. I mean, like you yeah, know, but to say like if, if anyone's memorizing lyrics, like it's it's Russ. And it's got to be. All it's got to be for it <laughs> with everything. And uh, the third option, because of the bandana and the white ribbed jeans and the Converse and whatever, looking like I thought that maybe it could be 
Search and Destroy by Iggy and the Stooges. I like that. I like that. The last one is fun. And maybe like just, it would be like a real curveball. But I, I kind of feel like you were right. You really did go play by play with the, with the Meek Mill. I'm, I really, I was, I thought, I put a lot of thought into it. Just so much spotlight on these two guys, Juliet. I'm just going to say Russ so would pick me, Gwen. Well, That's just like, <laughs> <laughs> just, just like such a Russ Is there Russ some trans- transitive property we can do that that is somehow a Kevin Durant diss to be listening to Meek Mill? Like, are they, is, he, is Durant what? friends with somebody that Meek Mill is beefing with? Okay, so Kevin Durant was at the Travis Scott show, <laughs> rapping along <laughs> to Let's way back. Travis Scott was on a record with Drake there you go. called Company on If You're Reading This, It's Too Late. And Drake and Meek Mill were obviously beefing. It's shots. It's such. Yeah. It's so blatant. <laughs> Definitely. It's so, so blatant. <laughs> two plus two equals four. And we're there. We yeah. figured it out. There we the are. The whole we're... lead up to this game has been about Russ and KD. What do you think about some of the other lesser dimmer lights out there on the on the floor, <laughs> like two-time MVP Steph Curry and his Robin to his Batman Clay Clay Thompson? First of all, it's a compliment to Clay, calling him the Robin. I think that's really nice. And uh, we Clay Theus appreciate that. Um, Clay's game is fucked up. He's not having a good season so far. Yeah, it's tough. So, like, do you think it's just that he's not getting, like, Danny, we were watching this earlier, and it's like, right. it doesn't feel like the same Warriors at, at times. I know it's not. It isn't. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, and I really do feel like a lot of last year was just the fact that they brought back so many guys. And they had that, you know, innate chemistry to keep them going from, you know, game one to game 82. Now they have to kind of reconfigure some things. And it's just, it takes time for that to happen. And that's why Kevin Durant is so important to this team right now, is that he can just kind of do what he's always done while they kind of figure, you know, their chemistry out. So do you think that Clay will eventually be, like, what is the thing that Clay settles at? Is it like basically like a role player shooter with like a great defense and, and takes the best defender? Like he takes the hardest defensive assignment? It's like a two pronged problem at the moment. First of all, he's he's getting his shots. Like it's like he has plenty of open threes. He's just not hitting them. I like was looking at his uh, shot charts yesterday, and he's like particularly bad from the out, from the sides right now. Like straight behind the arc, he's like is where he's shooting best, which is weird. But it's also like not you have typical to be, for not Clay. Be, Steph, Draymond, or Kevin are all yeah. getting the ball around there, so it's not a lot of room for him. Yeah, and then the other thing, he tries to get himself going by driving, which like he has definitely improved, but it's not, that doesn't really like, work with their offense. So it's not re- he's not really in a position to like find his rhythm at the moment. We saw, you, first of all, you're, you're, you, not only are you an accomplished author and illustrator, right. or, like uh, uh, extraordinaire, but you're a molder of young minds. <laughs> you saw Steve Kerr lose it early in the game yes. after a Steph Curry no call. And he went flying down. He needed, like, he had to have Mike Brown totally hold him back. I was kind of wondering if that was going to be like, a, "Hold me back, hold me back." <laughs> but Mike Brown actually did hold me, hold him back. <laughs> do you think that Steve Kerr needs to do stuff just to motivate these guys? Like, do you think that early in the season there's got like he's basically creating situations with which to motivate them? Would you ever no. do something like that? I would do something like that, but he doesn't need to do it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, he, they're. I think the season is going to end up a, basically exactly how the game. It's played out. It started out and it was kind of weird and the Thunder were beating them up a little bit and then the, the Warriors just started to pull away. The same is going to happen during the season. By like February, nobody's going to be able to touch the Warriors. Yeah. Which is going to take the time to get there. But no, he doesn't need to scream at anybody yet. I have, I have a question. Yes. What do you think it looks like when Steph and KD really figure out how to play together? Because like right now, one goes off and the other just kind right. of is submissive to that, right? Like yeah. the Bla- against the Blazers, Steph went off in the third and they, they won. Like this game, obviously, KD's going off now. So what do you think it looks like when they both are like, you know, having like a 25-point night or whatever, or 30-point night? You know I- that scene in Day After yes. Tomorrow yeah. where like, <laughs> the time wave <laughs> is coming into the, the city? Asteroid. That's what the offense is going to look like, I feel like. I, I kind of think it, it looks a little bit like you know, Ian Clark's outburst from a couple ga- games ago. That is the most Danny ever. <laughs> it, it, it just, that's what everyone was thinking. It's you like Ian Clark. So the floor for everyone else. And, you know, Clay gets his buckets. I, I, I think that when it finally gets into gear, we're, we're going to start to see the points kind of even out. Mm-hmm. Or at least that's some, you know, utopian concept I have in mind. Well, sure, okay. you're a basketball purist, so, so that's, that's your vision. So let's talk a little bit about the Thunder. I'm going to ask you a question. All right. Can you name three guys off the nope. Thunder nope. outside of Depot, Steven, and Russ? Oh, please pick up. No. No. That's Guns. all I got. 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. Moro. 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 There you go. There it was four. three. That's one. Yeah, that's one. That's one. I'm good for one. I got my one. I'll can pick you, up the rest. Can you? Did I suppose? Say that. Say it. Like, say it. Donatus. It's like, actually, not just like, I phonetically heard people saying things and sound Donatus like that. Donatus I said it. Anthony Moro. And we got two. We got yeah, two. Yeah, we got two. We're, so bonus. We, we, we got need two. one more from y'all two. Yeah. I'm, I'm good. I could name a few. Okay. Kyle All right. Singler. Nick yeah. Carlson. And his canter. Um, Joffrey Lindbergh. You're, we're, we're, you and I are Thunder Hive, and you obviously, <laughs> okay. you got like you Alex Sabrinas. Like, yeah, 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 we got Alex I mean, Sabrinas, like, we got uh, Samaji Christian. But this is not inspiring confidence. Like these guys are not <laughs> like a playoff team right no, now in terms no. of their depth. Um, all right, well, let's just take a few questions from uh, viewers. So Carl, you got anything for us? The first one is off of Russ's outfit, what should KD's outfit be? after his first half performance? Oh, great question. Mm. Ooh. Have you seen the documentary when the guy gets eaten by the bear? He's like, <laughs> he yes. should come dressed out like as an animal of some sort, just full head to toe bear. Just like, just revving it out. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Okay. Wearing the bear belt. <laughs> um, I saw Network, Jason Concepcion, our colleague, um, tweet before, right before we started this that uh, KD should come out wearing uh, Vetmont. Or how do you say it? Vet Vetmont. Vetmont. <laughs> Which is obviously the right answer. Ooh. That's a really good call. Carl, you got any other ones? Not yet, no. Oh, damn. Wow. wow. Really? Really? Only one question? That's uh, anything that's harsh. So let's try to do some like quick yes or, no's que yes or no questions. I'm going to ask some very complicated questions that I'm not going to allow you to give any nuance or gray area about. Do you guys, do you like the, the Warriors? No. No. Fuck no. Yes. OK. Do you think the Thunder will make the playoffs? No. No. <laughs> no, I don't. Yes. Danny. <laughs> I'm tempted, yes, I'm you tempted to let go. Him answer a little I bit just... more. Does no, I... Kevin Durant regret his decision? No. <laughs> he's so happy right now. I mean, no. He seems like he's, at, he's living life. He's, you know, he's 29 points in the first half. That's great for him. No. Well, you should have said yes there. <laughs> All right. You're the yes man. We're going to let it go back to the second half over in Golden State. Thank you so much for watching. You can read. Everybody here has stuff on theringer.com. Check out the Ringer NBA show. We got lots of stuff for you. Uh, thanks for watching.